as you might have learned, there's many ways to solve systems of equations. So in this particular video, we're going to solve systems with combinations or elimination. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to eliminate a variable. So the first step is we're going to distribute a 2 to this equation. Why? Because I'm trying to get my y's to cancel out. And if I multiply by 2, I get 6x minus 4y equals 14, which if we look here and we look here, we're going to be able to then cancel those 4's out, okay? Because a positive cancels out with a negative, these guys are now gone. I add up my remaining um, x's and my remaining integers, and since there's an equal sign, we set them equal to one another. Basically what we're doing is we're adding everything on one side of the equation and everything on the other side of the equation and we're solving that way. So 8x equals 24. Now we can just solve for x like normal. Divide by 8 on both sides and we're left with x equaling 3. Okay, now we can plug back in um, for y, or excuse me, for x, the 3, to solve for y. So 3 times 2 is 6 plus 4y, we would take the 6 away from the 10, and we'd have 4y equals 4, so y equals 1. All right, so our answer would be 3 for x, y equals 1, so 3 comma 1. We can check our work. We can plug in both of our numbers into the equations just to make sure that we did it right. So we get 6 minus 2, Ah, 6, I meant 9. 9 minus 2, goodness gracious, um, equaling 7. All right, let's look at another one. Let's look at this one. So let's plug in 3 for x plus 4 times 1 equaling 10. So 2 times 3 would not be 5 because we're not adding, right, Petresca? Okay, that's 6 plus 4 equals 10, and it works. So both of these check. Okay, go ahead and you try these two. Um, think of numbers that would be easy for you to multiply by so that way you can eliminate a variable in both. All right, uh, pause the video. I'm going to show you how to do this one. Okay, you could pick either of these to swap the sign, multiply by a negative 1. Why? Because then we can get negative x plus 2y equals negative 14. We're going to add these together so the x's cancel each other out. We're left with 5y equals a negative 5. Divide by 5 on both sides. y equals negative 1. Okay, so there's our negative 1. Now we're going to plug in that negative 1 back into one of the equations. So x minus 2 times negative 1 equals 14. So we can take x plus 2 equals 14. Take the 2 away on both sides, and we're left with x equals 12. Now, one of my students asked me to try and show the other equations, too. So I'm going to just show you this other equation to make sure, in case you got it wrong, um, that you get the explanation as well. So if we use this equation, we'd plug in the negative 1 for the, uh, or for the y, and we're adding that to x, so it's really just subtracting and then we add 3 to both sides to get x by itself, it equals 12. Okay, I'm going to erase this so that way we can have some room to try this one. Okay, so there's no real easy way to get from 3 to 40. So instead, there's an easy way to get from 2 to 14. Multiply by 7. So we've got 14x plus 40y equaling negative 18. And 7 times negative 2 is negative 14, plus, oops, not plus, 7 times negative 3 is negative 21y, and 7 times 8 is 56. Okay, so these cancel each other out. I'm left with a 0. If we take 40 and we subtract 21, we get 19. And if we have the difference between 56 and 18, that's 38, and it's going to be positive because there's more positives than negatives. Okay, so I'm going to divide by 19 on both sides, and y equals, ooh, that's a horrible y, y equals 2. Okay, I'm going to plug that back into the equation. So I'm going to use this one because it's easier than these numbers. 
it's up to you to decide what you would like to do better, but I like using smaller numbers, right? Um, so negative 2x minus 6 equals 8. Add 6 to both sides, and we're left with negative 2x equaling 14. Divide by negative 2, x equals negative 7. All right? So what if they're both in standard form still? Same kinds of things. However, with these two, in their, in their particular form, there's no easy way to get from 3 to 4 or from 4 to 5. So now I have to distribute something to both sides. I'm going to have to distribute a 4 to this particular equation and a negative 3 to this particular equation. So it takes a little bit of guess and check. Why am I doing that? I want to try to get 12 on both sides. So I see that 3 and 4 have 12 in common as their multiples, right? So 3, 6, 9, 12, and 4, 8, 12. So I'm going to multiply respectively by 4 on this equation and 3 on this equation. I've got to pick one, though, to make negative, and I chose this one, okay? Again, there's no particular way that you have to do these problems. This is just one example, okay? So 4 times 4 is 16, so that's 16x plus 12y equals negative 4. Distribute the negative 3 to the 5, negative 15x, 3 to the 4, negative 12y, and the 3 to the 1, negative 3. Okay, so over here we get just x equaling negative 7. That worked out nice, didn't it? Now we got to plug that back into the, one of the equations. I'm going to pick this one. And the 7 goes in for the x, so 5 times negative 7 is negative 35. Make sure that you um, solve on both sides by simplifying and divide by 4. y equals 9. So our answer is negative 7 comma 9. Okay, go ahead and you try these. I'll be back in just a second to show you the answers. Make sure you pause the video because in about two seconds, my answers are going to show up. Okay, so I'm going to try to get rid of the y's. So I know that um, 3 times 7 gives me 21. So I'm going to multiply all of these by 3. So 9 times 3 is 27. So we get 27x minus 21y equaling, and 19 times 3 is a negative 57. Here, negative 7 times 5 is negative 35x, a negative 7 times a negative 3 is a positive 21y, and a negative 7 times a negative 15 is a positive 105. Okay, these cancel each other out, so 35 minus 27, their difference, right, is an 8x. It's going to be a negative 8x because we have more negatives than positives. Over here, 105 and 57's difference is 48, and it's going to be a positive because we are um, we have more positives than negatives. Divide by negative 8 on both sides, and 48 divided by 8 is 6, so we get x equals negative 6. We plug it into our point. Then we can go ahead and pick either of these equations to plug it into. I'm going to use the bottom one because it looks easier to me. I like working with fives, right? Who doesn't? Okay, so we get negative 30 on this side minus 3y equals negative 15. Add 30 to both sides. Negative 3y equals positive 15. Divide by negative 3 y equals negative 5. Okay, over here, I would much rather work with the 6 and the 9 than the 14 and the 16. So 6, 12, 18, 24. With 9, I can go 9, 18 right off the bat. So we know that we want to multiply this by 3 to get 18. So 14, oh, not 14x anymore. Sorry about that. 14 times 3 gives us 42x minus 18y equals a negative 9. Down here, we're going to multiply by a negative 2. 
So that way we can get a positive 18y here. This would be a positive 14, and 16 times 2 gives us um, a negative 32x. So the difference here is 10x, it's positive. The difference here is 5. So we get 1 half So our x is the 1 half, and then we get, we got to plug it back in. So I'm going to plug it into this one. So 14 times 1 half minus 6y equals the negative 3. So 7 minus 6y equals negative 3. Take 7 away on both sides. We're left with negative 6y equals negative 10. Divide by negative 6, and y would equal 1 and two-thirds, okay? If we plug these back in, we can check our work. All right, and that's all I've got for you. See you next time.